So are they R and D spaces? Is this one of the powers of networks? Are they really R and D spaces? I mean, I think that, uh, you know, you could think about like, we don't want McDonald franchises, right? I mean, you know, in one way you could think the worst case scenario is we have a network, you can come become a McDonald franchise. And we don't want to be serving McDonald's and having the same hamburger all over the place. No, no, no less is probably not very healthy for anybody, right? Like, we are not wanting to like to have one kind of school for, for all individuals or for all students. Like, we need to have variety and we need to have innovation. We need to think out of the box and creatively to serve every single student. As I, I tend to say, there should be, you know, there, you know, we need, you know, there should be cool schools throughout the country that serve a number of students in a number of different ways. And so do any of you want to speak to the fact that I think that what Justin is saying is like, when you're part of a network, almost other people give you the leeway to be in an R and D space. And that's, that's what's so fantastic about it because that's a network gives, it gives you the courage. Cause I think a lot of the time where, where people get frightened to, to, to make change because they don't know whether they're allowed to or not. And being a part of a network, as Justin said, it's, he said it beautifully. You have the courage to, it gives you the courage to actually try something and you've got that support to be backed up with it. I think the days of being an individual in education are just about over because we need to learn together how to do this work because it's really challenging. And we're, we're moving into, it's, it's like when I referred to the tools earlier, the tools we've created are not ones that tell you what to do. They're ones to stimulate you to think about how you could try something different and what it could look like. So they're not an answer, they're a prompter for thinking to create a different way of being. Somebody asked me, can we decide what success looks like in education now? And I said, absolutely not. We have no right to do that anymore. What we have the right to do is to help people to find out what they believe success looks like for them and their community now. So what our role is, is lead, or educators, leaders in education now is to help people figure out for them what does success look like in their community and help them to a way to create that.